Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at the workspace keyboard in your package.json. So this is typically used when you're having a mono repo set up. So you've got a few projects that you're you're running with um, and they're, they're, they're all being used in your main project. Uh, and rather than have them as separate repositories, which which can can get problematic in terms of pull requests and changes and getting those updates into your project what you can do is set up for one project um, and then but then that comes with its own issues as well and this is where the workspace keyword uh, can help us out um, before we jump in though if you find yourself enjoying the video feel free to click that subscribe below change the alert icon to all and you'll get updates for future videos okay let's let's jump in and have a look at the scenario we're, that we're considering here so I've got a I just got a direct here I just do an npm in it so say we've got a project and we're using a couple of our own packages within that project um, so if I open up uh, Visual Studio code here and we create a new file here so this would be our main project um, and then and then and we've got one that we've created and we want to use as well so rather than doing an npm install from another repository we've actually we're going to consider that we've got this within the same repository now the standard for this would be to have a packages folder in here and you would place these inside here so say say we had a cli project that we created it was in here um let's give it a let's give it a file in there and we'll create a package.json for it as well. So we could do an npm init in there. All right, so that, uh, there's the sort of scenario we're looking at. And then by, for this to be useful, you would you would have quite a few, you know, one, two, three, four, five, ten, ten, ten hundred, whatever. But you'd have you'd have a few um, sub packages in there that you're working with. Um, so one way to work with that now in this package would be to do uh, an npm link against this package. Um, if you don't know how npm link works, I've got a, um, a video for that here worth checking that out. Um, and that would work. And and workspaces, pretty much that is what it's going to do for us. But it's going to do it for multiple packages. So we could do it for this one. And if we had a few of us, we could do it for those as well. Um, but then if if someone else is working on this, a collaborator is working on this, and they pull it down from GitHub, they've got to go and run five or so NPM links, and they're not necessarily going to know which one should be linked. Um, so Workspaces provides a way to manage this for us. So let's let's add that. So let's go into our package.json, and I'll just get rid of scripts there. And we'll add in a a workspaces, and it's gonna it takes an array here, and in there we can add. We've only got one, um, but we can add as many as we want in. So let's put in packages and CLI, like so. All right, so that is how we set it up in our top level root project that we're going to be including them so what we'll see now is this npm link in effect so if i come back up to the to the roots here and i do uh, an npm install so in my root package i'm not referencing i've got no dependencies no dev dependencies um, so you wouldn't really expect npm install to do anything but i have got workspaces and it's referencing this cli package so if i do an npm install you can see it's added a package, so it's aware of this uh, this keyword. And look, I've got a node modules, and if I go in there, the CLI package is in there and available for me to use in my root project. Um, this little arrow, yeah, this little um, arrow here shows that it's npm linked rather than a local npm install. So whenever I make changes to the 
to this package, so in here, those updates will immediately get reflected without the need to do any NPM updates or any other NPM installs. And so it manages that for you. So Workspaces provides that. It, it also then provides the ability to do uh, a couple of other things, certainly like to run commands across all of these uh, packages. So if we had um, if we had multiple ones in there, let's add another one in. So let's go to packages um, and let's just call it CLI2. Um, and we'll add a file in there. And let's do an npm init in there to give that a package.json as well. Right, so say we had some scripts in here that we were running to build these packages or test them. Um, so let's let's just add some details in there. So run CLI2 script. So that's in my CLI2 package there. And then come back up into CLI and we can say uh, run CLI1 script like so. All right, so to run those, you could go into each one and do a you know, NPM run and, and uh, test. Um, but Workspaces is aware of this as well. So if I do an NPM uh, run test and I specify I want it done in my Workspaces, and when I run that, oh, I need to come, I need to come back up to the root. That would be fair. Um, oh yes, so I've added a new package, but I haven't specified it in here. So this is an array. We can add in another one here. So this is how this would get built out. You'd have all of your sub projects uh, specified in the workspaces here. All right, let's have one more go at that. Okay, so I got. I got CLI script one there. What happens in CLI script two? Scripts test. Oh, did I not save it? I just didn't save it, that was all. There's too many of these open. All right, so that should work for us now. I just make this one full screen we'll be able to see it a little bit better all right so it ran cli script one and it also ran cli script two um so yeah the 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 general commands and um functionality in npm is aware that you've got workspaces set up in this case now it does the basics there you you if you're looking then to move this on to be a very a very large one of repo you might want to add a package on top like learner which uh, builds on top of workspaces and gives you extra functionality again but for for a simple one you can get away with just using workspaces and the functionality that that provides um so there you go little overview of the workspaces keyword in package.json if you see that now you'll understand what's going on i uh, hope that was interesting give me a thumbs up if you liked it uh, thumbs down if not catch you next time